Singapore is a bustling multiracial city where sometimes space is hard to come by. And that can be a little overwhelming, especially if you're not from here. But no worries, my name is Mike Kasem and rain or shine, we are gonna find you that perfect space on our tiny little island. Welcome to Chic and Cozy. Coming from the United States myself, I know that moving to another country can be a bit jarring. Going from the rolling acres of Kentucky to maybe a 647 square foot in a place like Tokyo, you're bound to be in for a serious culture shock. So on today's show, we have someone who's coming from the United States for work, and he's gonna be looking for a space in Singapore. Let's see if he's feeling the same way. Hi, my name is John. Uh, I just moved to Singapore with my girlfriend. We're coming from New York City, and we're super excited to be here in a new country. So we're moving to Singapore for my girlfriend's career, and now we gotta find a place that works for her. She works a diplomatic job, but I can't really go into details, otherwise uh, I might have to kill you. My girlfriend works right near Holland Village, so we gotta find something around there. I'm not super familiar with the area, but it's gotta be convenient to where she works. Also, she's not used to Asian cuisine, and she's a vegetarian. So I'm psyched to be in Singapore. I want to taste all the food, I want to try all the hawker centers, I want to breathe in the culture as deeply as possible. But I gotta find a place that works for my sweetheart first. We're coming here with just our suitcases, so we need a place that's furnished, because we're not gonna be here long enough to really invest in good furniture. I also need to make sure I find a space that has room for me to work out of. I sometimes freelance, so I want some space where I can either work off a couch or a desk, some place where I'm gonna be comfortable to spend my day at home. Hey, John. Oh, hey, Mike, hey. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, welcome to Singapore. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so you're originally from Kansas, right? Yeah, Kansas born, although I lived in Virginia, then Los Angeles, and now we're moving from New York City. Fantastic, okay, so you've seen a lot of land, and then you've been in New York where there is no land, very small places. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, very yeah. small. Well, actually, I feel like looking at the Singapore apartments, compared to New York, Singapore's apartments are a little bit bigger and uh -huh. a little bit cheaper, so I'm pretty excited. Really? Yeah. All right, well, that's gonna make my job a lot easier here. <laughs> so we are in the heart of the CBD in Tanjong Pagar. Okay. And I think you're really gonna like this space. I mean, the area looks really cool. My one concern, though, is that this might be a little bit of a long commute for my girlfriend to get to work. Oh, I totally get that. But there's so much great food right around this area and things to do that it might be worth the commute. That's true. I mean, honestly, the biggest concern, though, is like I want a space that is comfortable in case there's another circuit breaker and we're locked. Hey, choy, 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 choy. <laughs> choy? Choy, it means like, like knock on wood. Oh, OK. Uh, choy, yeah, definitely, choy. yeah. OK, John, here we are. Narrow entryway. Right when you come in, we've got the kitchen. You see it opens up a bit. Yeah, it's really wide. I mean, kind of opens up a lot. Yeah, so. right. I mean, coming from New York, you're saying the space is really actually cramped there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. tiny, but I mean, here, like, I mean, I could probably host or something. It looks right. like, you know, have exactly. a dinner party, that kind of thing. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. And if you look at this, actually quite surprising. We're in 675 square feet, and you can fit a six-seater dining table right here in the, uh, wow. in the kitchen. Let's take a look at the kitchen here. Um, a little bit different of a style than the United States. I mean, they're doing real clean lines here. Everything is trying to be tucked away and hidden. We've got the microwave, which if you had it on the countertop, obviously there's just no space for you to, you know, put yeah. your pot pans, whatever. Yeah, everything's really organized, but what is this? They use this a lot in, in Asia, and these are induction cookers. Okay. So it's different than, you know, the flame you're used to. Do you cook? Uh, I'm going to be doing all the cooking, so oh, really? I have okay. to learn it one way or the other, but as long as they heat stuff up, I think I'll be okay. When you have 675 square feet, and that's mm -hmm. what's great about Singapore, is the maximization of the space. Okay. You know, they get really creative. Okay, how can we, we want to be able to wash our clothes in the in the unit rather than go across the street like you'd have to back home, right? Yeah, I'll be honest. I haven't had a washing machine in my house in almost six years, so if it's in the kitchen, I don't mind, I'll Perfect. take it. This is what's very different about the United States to Singapore, okay? We have to split the switches for the power. Oh, okay. So back home, we just plug it in and you have power, right? Right, right, So yeah. this is, actually, I like this feature because it's safer. Have you ever seen one of these? Uh, what is that? Actually, it is where you dry your dishes. Also more storage, obviously, up here for all your you know, cups, plates, bowls, whatever you need. Cool. Um, and then behind you, you probably haven't seen it, but we have a bunch of cabinetry space. This is for maybe if you want to put your spices down here. Wow, that's or, amazing. Yeah, plenty of, plenty of lights. You got your track lighting here. You can aim it wherever you like. And all this stuff is furnished, the utensils and stuff that comes with it? Yep, comes with it, so you'll be all set up. Yeah. Oh, great, yeah. So here we are, the living room. Wow, 
Well, yeah. this is a great view. Oh, it's an incredible view. And the full length windows, I mean, this room gets a lot of light. You're gonna get plenty of light, plus they're also tinted out so your neighbors can't see right in. Oh. So that's nice too. One of Singapore's famous hawker centers is right down the street there. It's called Lao Passat. Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> that's a little bit of a tourist trap for us. Uh, you know, we're loyal to our OG hawker center, Baduk. Oh man, you're already local, this is great. <laughs> what the general thought is, with a with a small space, you don't wanna have dark walls, right? Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, you can do it in a certain way that makes it work, because you don't want everything to just be white all the time, light, 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 mm, right? Yeah. So this is a very dark navy blue wall. It absolutely works. I don't think it makes the space look any smaller. Then you have the coffee table, but it is narrow, so you have room to walk around. And that's why they didn't go with a huge TV console. They went with just a nice feature piece of wood coming out of the wall that's not too big. A lot of space saving going on here, and you don't even realize it because it just looks like it's meant for the room, right? Yeah, it feels like super streamlined, but I also feel like I could like add a piece or two if I wanted to. You could, you yeah. absolutely could. Okay, John, let's take a look at the bedroom. Oh, wow. Come on in, yeah. It's actually for 678 square foot unit, pretty big. Big bed frame and it still fits fine in the room. And the reason for that is because they kept it low. If they'd raised the bed up here, you know, yeah. standard size, it might be You a couldn't bit walk cramped. around, yeah. No, I exactly. like the design too. It has that nice kind of like wood earthy tone that like the rest of the other room, it feels like it uh, matches everything. So you can wake up every morning to a nice view of the coast there. Unfortunately, we're having a rainy day and that happens in Singapore. But, um, you know, you're gonna have plenty of days where the view is gonna be gorgeous, sunny, and lovely. No, really that's relaxing. Great. Now, I wanna show you something that's very specific to Singapore. Okay. Okay, come on. So this is unique to Singapore. This is a bomb shelter. A bomb shelter? Yes, a bomb shelter. Really? Why? Well, I guess just in case we get bombed. It's been a requirement ever since 1996, so the new units you'll see will have bomb shelters. I've never lived somewhere with a bomb shelter before, but, you know, <laughs> I'd be kind of excited to do that. <laughs> Why not? So here it is, the bathroom. And uh, what I really love about the bathroom is it has double entry. So mm -hmm. you can enter from the bedroom, you can enter from the living room. So if you have guests over, they obviously have an entrance. They don't have to come through your bedroom. Oh, great, yeah. So we can it makes keep sense. It a little private. It's kind of a little small, though, I think. It's definitely small, but you're, you got to give and take somewhere, right? Yeah, you got yeah. a bigger kitchen, you got a bigger living room, and uh, you know, hopefully won't be spending too much time in here. Right. Yeah. And then you've got your uh, one foot by two foot tiles down here, which I think, you know, is not your typical square tile, rectangular shape, so it gives a little texture to the, to the bathroom. It's a nice design, yeah. And huge mirror here. Oh yeah, perfect, for two people in the morning. Exactly. This space is like really comfortable. It's very big. Uh, I feel like the living room and kitchen are so easy to get around. We could definitely entertain a lot of people here, which is definitely a plus for us. One issue is, I don't know if the location is super convenient for my girlfriend to commute to work and back every day. However, I really like the space in terms of like the living room, the bedroom, they're nice and big. And we're gonna be with each other, but not on top of each other, which is gonna be necessary. I like the kitchen, it's nice and large, and considering I wanna cook for a lot, I think it's gonna be convenient to do that every day. I'm excited to live by the sea. I mean, that view is incredible. And getting to wake up to that every day, it's gonna boost both of our moods a lot. Okay, so this next place is a shared space. You mean like, like a shared, like a dorm, like a college dorm? Yeah, I mean, kind of like that, yeah. Except okay. the good thing about this is we're the first here, so you get first choke. Oh, okay. What? Chope is kind of like uh, we get first dibs on it. So oh, you know, okay, gotcha. Yeah, you get to choose All which right, room yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's always important. So. It definitely is. Now, let me tell you a bit about this place. It's Jalambasar area. Mm -hmm. So you've got a lot of old school mom and pop shops for eating here. People love it. Lavender, which is a hipster area. And for your girlfriend, great vegetarian options because oh. you have Little India right next door. Awesome. Well, yeah. I love Indian food. Vegetarian options are a must. So I'm interested. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Here you go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, immediately you notice totally different entryway, mm -hmm. kind of walking right into useful space. The kitchen, beautiful cabinetry. Yeah, it's definitely big enough. I mean, I bet you could still cook a lot right here, it seems. So unlike the other apartment where the washer dryer was just exposed right there in the kitchen, this has a TikTok opening right now. TikTok oh, wow. opening. Wow, okay. Yeah, sorry, we're not gonna do any TikTok here right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's just completely stowed away so it stays out of the way. Wow, this is like super organized. But... It is very organized. I don't know if they do it like this in New York, but 
just to make it look nice, refrigerator. Oh, nice. It's built into the wall? It's built in as cabinetry. Oh, it's yeah. stylish. Oh. It is. So everything just looks real sleek, really, really clean lines. And you've got an oven, mm -hmm. which is definitely going to help you if yeah. you want to do some cooking. Actually, that's a bonus. Last place to not have an oven. I definitely need one. That's right. You know, your PowerPoints and, and, and when you want to uh, switch on, whether it be your hob or your fridge, you're going to do that right behind here. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, wow. So I think they've really gone the extra mile to really keep everything clean, hidden away, and give you as much space as possible. So we like that here. And you know what? This is perfect for you, not for me, because you could probably reach those cabinets up there. I see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can hide Great. stuff from my girlfriend up here. Yeah. You will have roommates, and let me show you the first room Ooh, okay. <laughs> right here in the kitchen. Check this out. So here you have it. A uh, very tiny room for uh, what would probably be your roommates. I don't think you'd probably be staying in here. It's a little small. I mean, <laughs> I kind of feel like Harry Potter in this thing, <laughs> living in the closet under the stair. I don't know if my partner and I would both want to be here together. I might end up just being forced to sleep under the bed in this storage space but yeah. pretty quickly. But <laughs> That's actually your wardrobe. <laughs> oh, okay. You can sleep within the wardrobe. Who's but it is for? pretty cozy though, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very cozy, I guess, yeah. if I was a bachelor or a student or something. I really like the living space here. Yeah, I mean, walking in here, the ceiling is really high. Which, oh, yeah. Yeah, it helps the room feel a lot more spacious. It feels pretty, like, comfortable and cozy. I mean, like, it's well organized. It is. And Very it's furnished, clean. so, you know, you can just come in and chill. It's yep. definitely a plus. So you've got kind of like a 50s modern cool look here, uh, but with the earthy tones, you got the wood. I kind of feel like this is a trendy millennial office space that's very warm. Definitely, yeah. it feels right. like a startup for you could be here. <laughs> exactly, yeah. right, a startup. So this could be your startup here mm. for moving to Singapore. And then a uh, nice accent four screen wall here, add a little color to the room, a little cool vibe. So let's say you had four roommates here, or three roommates, this would be a cozy space. I think there's plenty of room, right? Yeah. Nice couch. A uh, decent sized TV. If you'll notice, we have an unblocked view here. Oh, nice, yeah. So, you remember the last place we were at, it has a beautiful view uh, if you look out towards the left of the, the bay, right? Right, right. But you also have your neighbors who are looking straight in right. to your unit. Here, you don't have that. The next unit is quite far away. Decent sized balcony for the square footage of this place. I mean, you can fit a couple people out there very comfortably, or if you're standing, I don't know, you could even have five to 10 out there. So you got the kitchen net, you got the living room couch, and then you have the balcony. There's a decent amount of seating for everybody, I guess. Even there is. your roommates, yeah. Okay, bedroom number two. There you go. Wow. Well, it's a little bigger, but I'm worried, <laughs> you know, I think I might be the length of this room. Yeah, I don't run into that too often. That is pretty wild. I do have a bit of a special need here. How does it here. feel though? Does it feel a little cramped? It's a little cramped. I'm worried this room is just big enough for us to sleep in and not much more. Right. There's not, there's a closet here. So but we think have about this, space. look at that. You can reach your clothes from the bed. <laughs> right. How nice is that, you know? I can keep, every, everything was, is within arm's length. I never have to leave. Yeah. With the high ceilings, it's gonna help you not feel so claustrophobic. If this is a little too small for you, we can check out the other bedroom. Let's do it. But I do wanna show you that we have, well, for you, we could call this an ensuite bathroom. <laughs> I, can, I, I can make it work, yeah. Okay, master bedroom. Ah, now this is way more my size. I can already right. see that. Right, yeah. for sure. A little more room, and I love the floor to ceiling windows. Bed is the same size, but I don't think your feet are gonna hit the wall this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's the important part. And yeah. then we have an ensuite bathroom too. That's right, so when you're talking about your girlfriend likes your privacy, this is perfect for that. So here you go. Oh, wow. All your own. Mm, wow, this is a really nice bathroom. It's yeah. actually decently big for the size of the unit, right? Floor to ceiling uh, shower door, mm -hmm. which can trap some of the steam in there. Oh, perfect. So if you want Ooh. a little bit of a steam shower, you can do that. So also, what I love is this huge mirror. It's not just a huge mirror, but plenty of storage space. So a nice, uh, decent sized bathroom and bedroom. So what do you think? Well. It's kind of difficult at first to think about living in a shared space with my partner right after we move. And I can see pluses and minuses. I mean, it might feel a little crowded, but on the other hand, it might be nice to meet people here and it would be a good entry point to seeing the rest of Singapore. 
My girlfriend is gonna love the high ceilings and I think she's gonna love the design and the colors in the space. Uh, it's definitely nice and all the storage is gonna be super useful for us because we're gonna go on and go shopping a bunch and we're gonna wanna like be able to have our stuff in the apartment. I think the larger space is something to consider. It's comfortable and it definitely comes with a, a whole layout for the rest of the apartment that's very convenient. Okay, so you know when they say when you're looking for a property, location, location, location? Definitely. Okay, well that's this place. You are in Newton, my friend. So right down the street, we've got uh, Newton Hawker Center. Oh wait, the Hawker Center from Crazy Rich Asians? It is the Hawker Center from Crazy Rich Asians, yeah, but it's been famous for a long time. Food is pretty good. Well, if the food's good, I'm there. And we are only a two to three minute walk from the MRT station. Oh, wow, well, that's convenient. I mean, really fast. Super convenient. You guys will love that because then you're one stop from Orchard Road. Do you guys like to shop? Well, my girlfriend likes to shop. So regardless <laughs> of how I feel, we're going to Orchard for sure. It is, it's just right there. So perfect, we're all set with that. Okay, so location is set. Now we just gotta find you the apartment. All right. That will suit the location. Let's check it out. Okay. Okay, so here we go, our final destination, John. Wow. And this is another shared space. So do all Singaporean apartments have kitchens in the front door? The smaller ones do. Yeah, okay. it just kind of makes sense that way. Oh, I think I know what this is. Bomb shelter, right? You got it, man, look at you. Yeah, well, at least you I don't be stuff. safe here, right? Yeah. Oh, you definitely will be. Go in there anytime you like. <laughs> uh, and then you probably didn't even notice, but right behind you, that is another fridge tucked away with lots of space inside. Oh wow, it's like completely invisible. It's yep. like built completely in the wall. That's wow. right. And then you got the freezer down below as well. And I really love this. Everything flush and hidden and super high and deep cabinetry. Wow, yeah, yeah. there's so much storage here. Over here, I love this branded uh, you probably have never heard of a microwave slash oven built into one. Wait, what? You can put them together? You can, you wow. can. I've I never know. had one. And we have a hob that is uh, about one and a half times the size of the other one. So you've got three burners here. And then right here, hidden away, yeah. we have your washer dryer. Okay, so here's the living space. I really enjoy the vibe of it. To me, it's fresh, it's comfortable, it's homey. It's definitely cozy. I mean, I can definitely feel myself hanging out here. I mean, I could see us sitting on the couch, hanging out here day in, day out. It's missing a dining space, I guess, is the one issue. Where are well, we eat? The, the one thing is you do have your dining al fresco. <laughs> oh, okay. It is outside. There's a, a nice big balcony out there that can fit a full dining table and you could put six to eight people out there. Well, so. you know, we're looking for a space to entertain and it would be nicer to do it outside. I haven't seen a balcony that big here yet. Would you make use of the balcony? Oh, for sure, yeah. I've spent the past six years in a tiny cramped apartment with no outside, you know, access. So right. having a big balcony to entertain on, that's definitely a plus. But don't forget, this is a shared space, so oh, right. <laughs> you're yeah. gonna have one other person with you. Oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, uh, it's not super large, I guess. Uh, might have a little trouble fitting in here. Uh, this definitely will not work for you and your girlfriend. I know that, but still, it's my job to show you the bedroom. But I guess to whoever likes it, they should probably take it. But if we can check out the next room, I think it'd probably be better. Yeah, one last bedroom to show you. Here it is. There is so much natural light in here. I mean, the windows are huge. This is a great view. You got Isn't light it coming amazing? from both sides. Yeah, really. I love it. I love having so much window space here. It really, you know, you wake up feeling fresh, ready for the day. I really love it. And you got high ceilings as well. So when you're laying down in bed, you're really gonna feel like it's spacious. I really dig this bedroom. And check out the nightstand. It's a safe space, the wall-mounted nightstand and you can kind of set it up however you like and buy different parts and pieces for it. Make the bedside table space a little less chaotic. And you can hide the cords behind the nightstand as well. Oh wow, yeah, there's a ton of space here. Well, because we're so close to Orchard, I'm sure we'll be doing a lot of shopping, so <laughs> yep. this is gonna come in handy. You can tahan a little better. That's another local word, which means oh, you, you can handle it, you can take it, tahan. Oh, wow, well, I could definitely tahan this room. Right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wonderful, yeah. you are really catching on quick, man, for somebody who's only been here for such a short time. Ensuite bathroom as well. 
All right, well, we definitely need the ensuite space for sure. Yes. And it's nice. Marble walls. Yeah, I mean, it's not huge, but it feels like it has everything you need. It has a high shower and everything like that, which is nice, and it's ours. Yeah, and so the way they save space with the shower is a cool uh, door that yeah, opens wow. both ways. That's pretty stylish. What is this? That actually is a door to a balcony. Whoa, what? Because Singaporeans sometimes like to naturally dry after a shower. This is crazy. Isn't it? It's nice to have a his and her balcony, I suppose. So my <laughs> girlfriend and I, we can have our separate spaces. So I can do some alfresco bathing, I guess. Yeah, I mean, why not? Well, this place, I don't know, more than anywhere else has great light, great feel, really comfortable, cozy design. So I could see us more than any other place kind of fitting in here, just like coming in first day and sitting down and living. I feel like the bedroom itself feels more like it fits with my personality and my girlfriend's personality. The balcony here is really impressive. So there's a lot of pluses. Kitchen in this place is probably the best I've seen yet. The appliances are really high end and just the layout of everything seems super convenient. The one thing I'm worried about though is the idea of living with someone else, I feel like as nice as the apartment is, it's just gonna feel like there's a third wheel every time we're doing anything. We've seen an apartment with a view of the sea in Tanjong Pagar, another surrounded by good food in Jalan Basar, and another apartment with amazing natural light conveniently located in Newton. Now that John has had some time to decide, let's hear which apartment is his favorite. So for our first apartment, this place in Tanjong Pagar, it seems nice and it definitely has a very good furniture and a nice layout. Um, I'm into it, but one issue is that it seems like the commute from here to my girlfriend's office is gonna be pretty long. This place in Jalan Basar, I really like it. I mean, the area is terrific. If I could spend every day exploring little India, checking out the food, the culture, I'd have a good time. This apartment in Newton has tons of great features and I love the layout. Also, the area is pretty cool. There's lots of good food, and I feel like I can explore this place a lot. So after discussing with my girlfriend, we decided we're gonna take the space near Newton. It's great size, it's good layout, really beautiful windows, and most of all, it's super convenient for her work. The other thing though, you know, since we don't wanna really share the space with other people, I think we're gonna invest the extra money and rent out the other room too. It's gonna be a little expensive, but I think it'll make it more comfortable for us. And I think we've got the perfect space that's gonna let us enjoy our time in Singapore and see the country in the best way possible. Woman I Xin Po. Well, it seems indeed that home is where you make it, no matter where you come from or where you're going. And don't let the idea of living in a small space rain on your parade. Till next time, thanks for watching Chic and Cozy, where you can live large by living tiny.